Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to build a basic login form with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's get started. Okay, guys, um, before we get started, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share to your friends. Okay, go to your file and create a new file. Okay, we're well, going to uh, select a language you'll be using. So go down here and uh, pick html right here okay well, i've picked html so i want you to hit your ctrl s on your keyboard so let us rename our file login form dot hit okay it's already a html file so that's uh, put the login form right there okay we're well, going to go Okay, so firstly, we're going to build our uh, write our basic HTML frame. So let's hit C and hit enter. Okay, I think we're going to go to a title section. You can just change it to. So right in our body okay guys so uh, i'm going to create a script tag And after creating our script tag, we're also going to create a style tag. Okay, for writing our CSS. In this tutorial, I'm using internal CSS. Okay, that is CSS you write inside your head. So we're going to create a style tag. So I've created our scripts and style tag. So let's go right into our body and create a form name. Form name equals my form on submit return value okay sorry return validate form so write at that action equals to slash underscore page dot php method equals post so this is our form tag okay right in here we are going to create a paragraph
okay we have created our paragraph but no worries we're not adding anything to our paragraph so right our right after our paragraph tag we're going to create a div tag and align it left So we're going to our div tag. We're going to write name for impute it for users to impute that name. And right below it, we're going to add a label. Okay, so actually we are going to break okay with our br element. So hit the br and close it right there. Okay, cool. Okay, um, okay, we are going to delete this right here and i'm going to close this writer right after our br so hit this and that's okay it's closed i'm going to put an input type right up our div tag Okay, so I've successfully created this. I'm going to add another BR. Right here. So we're going to create our label for password. Okay. Label for password. ID equals F name. Key down cause my function. And right, I want to all right after here, I want to put a name. Sorry, name equal. Password and so I created a label. Okay, um. I'm so sorry guys. I think we made a mistake right here. Okay. To make this easier, I'm going to copy this 
right here label for password I got to write their password right after the work of password I'm going to put a BR BR imputes type Okay, our input type. I want to paste that. Input type equal password. For this, input type equals password. Okay. I think we are good to go. Okay, so right here, close it. And could uh, our beer that okay? We are going to create a label for users to impute to that email. Email. Email and put our BR and impulse type. Impulse type equals email name. Equal email. Okay, so I've created the label for users to input that email. So what we're going to do right now is to close our BR tag. So we're going to create uh, a div class. Div class equal button one. Right in our div, I want to put a button type. Button type equals submit class equal submit button. And click okay. I write up a div does uh, this slash br. Okay, so I will finish building the 
HTML part. So you can just right click your mouse and open with Live Server. Okay, let's see what is the output of our little code right here. Um, don't forget we are still going to style it using CSS. Okay, as you can see, it's right there. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, right now, our body, we are going to our body tag on page show. On page show equal my function okay so uh, right now after our body i'm going to create a div Give a line equals center div. So right now, a div tab, I'm going to put a heading. Okay, let's try H3 heading, which says sign up for free today. I want to check it on our live server. We'll go to your Chrome. Okay. There's our heading. And let's begin styling using CSS. So on our CSS, I'm going to style our body. Margin zero padding zero display flex Align items center justify font family. Okay, let us put a cursive. Flex direction width your yeah. background. No repeats. Background position. Okay, our background position will be background position bottom. Okay. As I can see. 
leave the effect of CSS on our code. So we can just um, add a background color. Oh, uh, background color. Can put a yellow. Okay, cool. So I finished styling our body. You can go to the next. It is dot container. I'm using the dot sign. Okay, in CSS, if you want to style a class, use your dot followed by the name of the class. Or you want to style an ID, use your hashtag followed by the name of the ID. So I want to put the border radius uh, 4 pixels, padding top. Thirty pixels. I'm gonna put a width three hundred. Okay, let's try uh, three hundred pixels. Put a height of five pixels. Background color. Transparent. Display. Um, align center. Okay, align. Okay, center and justify content center right okay position relative okay i'll go to go i'll go to put down dot main Border radius of four pixels. Okay, guys, I got to add a width of about uh, two ninety pixels. The height of the four hundred pixels. Background color. Transparent uh, box shadow. Our uh, box shadow be five pixels. Okay, I'm going to add our position. I want to make our position relative. Okay, let's check. Okay. Start our, all our inputs.
impulse type equal text impulse type equal password comma and the impulse type because email Imputes that type equal email. Okay, right. So leave and about the width. Two fifty pixels. I put a height of about okay let's let us make our height automatic so I look for the auto okay right there yeah. okay because the outline non background Transparent. Okay, this that uh, border. Okay, we're not going to add any border. Okay. None. Font size. Fifteen pixels. Go to add our border button. Five pixels. Okay. Uh, well, let's put it to solid blue. Um, padding bottom. Seven pixels transition is height. You see, well, let us put 14 VH. Okay, you go to our container label. Position.
Okay, guys. Uh, let's start. Okay, well, I'm not finished with the styling yet, but um, here is the output. Okay, it looks more classic. I mean, we can start writing our JavaScript straight away. Our function. Function. Function validate from shift that okay. So right is now our function validate form. We are gonna Okay, I'm going to uh, just fast forward it. Okay, you can always pause to check what I've written. Okay, I'm reading the first part. Okay, so I'm going to put function my function. Function my function. Okay, so I'm going to delete this and uh, right inside here, I'm going to document dot get element document dot get element by ID. Okay, this and that F name. Dot style background color. Dot style. Dot background. Color equal. Color let's add green. Okay, so I uh, got the function show. Okay, function show okay documents not get element by ID equals demo okay demo Demo dot uh, inner HTML to call navigator dot applying dot applying plus navigator. Navigator dot app code name uh, 
Plus Navigator Not online Online plus Navigator Okay, so uh, let's continue styling with uh, our CSS Okay, let's try it out Sorry. So we are just going to style a few things more. Our dot container. Okay, this we're going to name it our container label. Okay, I think we are true. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be uploading more interesting courses. On uh, my next tutorial, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you will be notified when I upload new video. Please, guys, share to your friends, and I'll be waiting for you in our next tutorial. See you guys.